police and ambulance siren screamed by her, racing in the opposite direction while Nancy Gonzalez drove home in the early hours of the morning, long after her overnight shift as a security guard for the local shopping mall. Her eyes followed them and eventually watched as they turned in her rear view mirror, disappearing from sight behind buildings. Rarely does excitement like this happen in her sleepy little town, never mind this early in the morning. Her thoughts continued to trail off, and eventually found their way back to her children. Dean would be waking up around now, probably making a quick breakfast for himself and his little sister before helping her get ready for school. He was only 16, but she's not sure how she'd do it without him anymore. She smiled at the thought of Dean trying to get Gabby out of bed, but getting her up for school was always a challenge. And today being a Monday certainly doubled the effort he'd need to put up to wake her. More sirens, this time coming from her rear. Red and blue lights flashed as the blaring horns of a fire truck cleared what little traffic was in the way. The highway had been pretty empty in the morning, and even now, very few cars could be seen. She quickly switched lanes and watched as three police cars, a fire truck, and an ambulance whipped by her in a blur, the wind from their vehicles rocking her Chevalier dart gently. Nancy enjoyed riding home in silence. Rarely did she find time to just enjoy her own thoughts amidst the noise of single motherhood. But the silence was broken this morning as she turned on the radio to discover what was going on. But what greeted her were no commercials, but instead an emergency broadcast. And as that broadcast filled her car, so too did the procession of red brake lights. Traffic had been brought to a complete halt in front of her, and the first words she heard come over the radio made her blood run cold. There's been an outbreak of an unknown disease. Everyone remain in your homes. Nobody will be allowed to enter or leave the surrounding areas until quarantines are put into place. Nancy Gonzalez finds herself surrounded by supplies in an abandoned eating place that may or may not have also been a golf course. On the one hand, she's grateful, surrounded by supplies, shelter, and relative safety, while those walking dead are separated enough where she can handle them in small groups. On the other, she's seen not a single living soul, and she has no idea if those she cares about are safe where they reside. Welcome back to Project Zomboid, everybody. And it's about as I said, we're in a kind of a nice spot uh, where we are relatively kind of safe in the moment. Um, while we certainly have issues with uh, zombies, especially if we, ooh, yeah, disinfectant, sorry, got distracted, especially if we get more than one at a time, I can't help but be happy with uh, the start of this place and the excitement of course of a new map is always uh, fun especially uh, for me who's played all the other maps even rosewood i mean we were we were new with rosewood when we started it but we got 60 episodes in i mean rosewood is something i know at least relatively well Ooh, yeah a key one of these is gotta go to one of the cars one of the workers must have come in and never had a chance to leave uh for now though uh, the big focus for us is to find ourselves a little bit of a I don't know if I'd say permanent safety. I mean, permanent safety would be nice, of course. Don't get me wrong. Wow, lots of bottles of water here. Any more? Yeah, another one and a soda. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. Let's grab this and let's leave the soda. For now, I, I guess we could stay here if we truly wished to. But I feel like that might not be the best decision, as at least in the moment. We have a pack of three here. 
a warehouse looking thing where we might be able to get some good weapons and I think yeah there it is like an apartment complex or hotel over here now we could immediately start just exploring the uh, the surrounding area and hope for the best um, but I think a part of me wants to explore too I mean Kingsman like I said it's a brand new map for us uh, and to kind of check it out beyond just the kind of the starting area would be cool and we will explore at some point just where do we want to set down roots can we okay well at least he died uh, let's move the kicking is still not the smoothest thing in the world she's got a knife or a fork in her leg do we have a better weapon at all There's a saucepan yeah not really I mean we have a saucepan that we could use but I'd rather just kind of drag them out this way. Oh no, 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 no! Are you friggin' serious? Okay, alcohol wipe it, let's just move. We're gonna see if we can live through this. This is insane, I can't believe we just got frickin' hit again. Do I have a bandage? I do. Adhesive bandage, please. Of course it's on the head. We'll back up. We don't have hypochondriac at least, so we will not have to struggle with that. I'm gonna move further out and just ditch these two. I cannot believe I got grabbed again because I whiffed a push or something. Where did you all come from? What the hell? I cleared this place like pretty damn well. Get on the ground, please. We gotta keep moving. I really wanna kind of just clear out, stick in here for now, and then see if we can make uh, make it happen. All right, that's fine. We'll cut them off here. We'll push through. I tripped, that's fine. We're gonna swing in here. Are you serious? All right. Remove the broken glass. Hello? Okay. Get inside. Is it just her? We got a bunch walking around the fence now. Yeah, 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 lady, I get it. We're gonna have to use these tables to catch. See, I, I, I whiffed because I had my mouse on top of her, but it wasn't enough because it's just the way he turned or she turned. So the question now is, can I get them inside without getting myself caught. I love, okay, she's just on the ground now. Did you see her fall down on the ground there? She literally just fell on the ground. On the ground for you too, please. Come on. Are you dead or are you alive? No, you're alive. You just fell for some reason because you took some weird damage or something. This griddle is putting on the hot pressure. Come on. Can you? Okay. I'll do it like that then. I'm a little nervous. We're going to get kind of caught in the back there. Come on. There we go. I'll take the letter opener for now. And you know what? I'll wait for her as this guy to come as well. We'll clear her out. I don't understand. <laughs> no! Get on the ground. Get on the ground. All right, we've got a scratch and a laceration. Let's see what happens here. Alcohol wipes will disinfect. We will uh, bandage. We will remove this bandage. And we're immediately just going to pay attention to ourselves in first aid. Alcohol wipes. Adhesive bandage. Keep on disinfecting. Keep on taking care. Do we have food we can eat? We can. I'm going to eat a quarter of this watermelon. I got to get myself as well fed as I can. And I'm also going to go ahead and take some vitamins. Trying to eat healthy. 
while in the midst of potentially dying. Just gotta do what you gotta do. And if we live through this, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this as a sign that dear Nancy's gonna live. Uh, let's keep going with watermelons. We need another quarter of it. And I think we're gonna lock ourselves in the bathroom. Nancy is uh, one to think of the safety of others first. And if she's gonna die like the rest, she ain't gonna let it happen like this. Certainly not. Douse in alcohol. And we will kind of let things go. And we'll see what happens. Okay, we'll remove this. We're getting tired, but that's fine. I'd like to disinfect with cotton balls. I don't know if it matters which one we do. I think I also hear someone pounding at the, uh, the window outside. A scratch and a laceration. So I'm told lacerations are way worse than scratches. We'll see what happens. We're gonna eat the rest of this watermelon to fight off whatever we can. So far, we're alive at the very least. And we're keeping ourselves kicking as best we can. I'm gonna put away this water. I don't wanna hurt myself too much. And you know what? I'll even pop these puppies away as well. And the matches. I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna get infected, we might as well burn this place to the ground. Looks like the where our our bleeding is stymieing a little bit. Maybe not. The fact that this is still <laughs> this is still bleeding is a problem. It's the first wound, and uh, we're already having issues with it. Uh, let's go ahead and rip up. One of the sheets here. We're gonna go ahead and bandage with the ripped sheets. I think we just ripped up all three of them. But that's fine. Yep, we're panicking, but we're not sick yet. Let's sit on the ground and wait. See, maybe if we can shake the, uh, the exhaustion at least. Yeah, we're getting bored, but that's okay. Our health is going up. Is our... Are we good on the forearm? Because this isn't bleeding. No, we're not. Just get that bandage back on. Or at least it's not getting dirty. We'll remove. And we will continue to eat. I don't know what we can do with the first aid pack. We'll take some uh, vitamins. We'll eat some ice cream. If we're going to die, we're going to die happy, baby. And we're going to rip up some sheets. Beautiful. Speed it up. We're still in pain. I don't know if she got any painkillers. And I don't know if I can do anything with this. It's got cotton balls and tweezers in it. So maybe we just took everything out of it as we were using it. That would make sense. Yeah, we've got no painkillers right now. I'm going to drop the dirty rags. We're just going to keep waiting. Yep, still the head is bleeding extremely badly. And I can't sleep. Okay, let's be careful. I want to see. Do we have... There's a vehicle we can sleep in. We have the key to it. I just got to find the right one. Ugh, there's so many of them out there, though. So, maybe not. Uh, we know there's some houses to the north <clears throat> that we can also go to. So, I think we're going to swing out. And we're going to try and head out that way as quickly as possible. It's getting dark and it's hard to see. Let's get crouched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up and over. It's quite a few there still. Still clean. We may get out of this alive. Zomboid gods have deemed us worthy. All I had to do was diddle the ball sack just a tiny bit with my pinky finger and just the tip of my tongue along the veiny thick. Okay, well, you know what I'm saying. Hey, Mathis, why'd you say that stuff? Sometimes I just let my brain go. All right, I'm actually going to try and check these crates 
this is dangerous and I shouldn't be coming over here, but if we can get ourselves better weapons. All right, we're still not dirtied up yet either. I definitely want the hand scythe. And that's good enough. The hand scythe is a better weapon than what we are currently using. Put that away. And then I want to put the dirty rag on the ground. Dirty rag on the ground. Dirty rag on the ground. Try again for the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh time. We're still kicking. I might not be going the right way. He got a little confused. Is this all water? Yeah, this is not where I want it to be. I'm going to get into this car. Okay, I think we're going to have to sit here. Uh, we'll pop that. I'd like to lock all the doors. I th Can I not sleep in the car? I thought I could. Well, let's just wait and see what happens here. We'll stay in here. We'll disinfect again by dousing ourselves in disinfectant. And then we'll bandage up. We're in minor pain. It's all gone now. We're ridiculously tired. And once again... Once again, how can I not? I thought I, I, I know I can sleep in there. I don't remember how to do it for whatever bizarre reason. My brain is completely, completely forgotten how that works. I'm trying to right click on it. Nothing was happening. In case you're going to say you should just right click on it, Mathis. Let's head upstairs real quick. Oh, we got a, we got a bandage, baby. We're still alive. I don't know why it's taken so long for this freaking laceration to heal. Is this a rooftop? Ooh, we might have like a rooftop potential base that we could work with. All right, for now, we're exhausted. We're going to F up our sleep schedule in the process, but I am going to sleep on one of these chairs and we'll see if we're dead come morning or night or whenever it ends up happening. Nervous wreck. If we had beta, uh oh. Am I dead? Remove. We're still lacerated. We're not bleeding anymore, though. Ripped sheets. Take some vitamins. I just don't want to get sick and die from being sick. How come I'm still seeing a scratch there, even though it should be bandaged? It's worrying me. Let's have some com uh, canned tomatoes for food. It's not the greatest breakfast, but it's all we got. We're going to eat it all to keep ourselves well fed. Did not do enough to well feed us, so open one can of carrots. And pound down those carrots, baby. I know we're sad and nervous, but we got to wait. All right, let's see what the left forearm's looking like. Okay, it's good. We keep going slight damage. Queasy. Remove, let me just look at it. God, friggin' heck, man. Nancy, Nancy Drew, come on. I need you to figure this out and get it done and get it done for me, for you, for the whole crew. We got to live. I can't die yet. All right, we're going to have our last can of carrots here. And then we're just going to wait it out and see what happens. I know you're depressed. But what do you want me to do about it? All right, well, we're going to go outside. We got to start looking for food. We're out of it. We're depressed as hell. So 
so we need to get what we can. Candy bars, any of that stuff will work wonders in the moment. It's fine. Okay, perfect. This is what I want. Sounds very loaded with zombies nearby. None of them have anything in it. Of course. Of course. Alright, out the front door. We're not gonna stick around and look around. Yeah. We're back out here. We'll check this one. We're in a bit of a panic situation, so going beyond our kind of current means feels like a just a terrible idea. Leaving. Trying to explore all while we potentially are sick. Like this, this worries me, because I don't know if we can get queasy just from a laceration. It feels like, no, you can't. I can't tell if that's starting to dim. That looks like it's for this one right here. Nothing. Hey there. Alright, we'll fight you with our sickle. Okay. Quickly poking the sickle through the temple to finish the job. She doesn't want to make it last any longer than it has to. Yeah, I'll eat, I'll eat it. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with twine, but I'll take the twine as well. Riverside doesn't... I don't think this is connected, but it might be. I don't think there's gas. I think it's empty. I'm just trying to see if I can get it going. No. That lollipop was not enough to make me feel any good about where we are right now in life. But, we're still going. I'm gonna take a look at this real quick. Still there? I know- oh! That there's wine back in that building? So I really want to see if I can get some drinkage going because that'll at least make me feel better. Also. Hello? Alright, well, let's- you got a beanie on? Hey. Hold it. Go down. Could be behind the gate behind us. Let's move. Oh, his shirt is all torn. And the st- oh, wow, it's dead. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, I see ya. Glad, I'm glad we used the sickle! The hand scythe! She did jack crap for us. I'm taking the saucepan, baby. I'm more confident with the saucepan in hand. We're gonna go have some alcohol and feel good about ourselves before we lie down tonight and maybe die? Up and over. We did work in here. No doubt about that. Yo, turn that off. No lights on. Please. The creaking of the building. I think they're coming. Drink all this, please. Okay, that's good. Drink a quarter of the Chardonnay. Yeah, just, just pound it down, Nancy. No shame. Just do it. Oh yeah, feeling great. Remove? Are we good? Did we live? Nope. Okay. We have to get out of here. Don't really have it in me to fight much money of these right now. Don't think we have it in us to really win that fight. He's just walking on the broken glass now. Woo, we leveled up. Sprinting. 
Must have been sprinting or or light footed actually, which is more valuable, honestly. All right, we'll take you out. We'll try to take you out anyway. I think you've got like security guard clothes, almost a creepy reflection of what could be for us. Yep, Rangers stuff. Not quite security, but same family. Don't want to go through the bushes. It could wake up or rustle the one over there. So the question now is, is this place relatively safe anymore? No, still isn't. I was hoping it might kind of become safe over time. Maybe they would have been pulled away by some of the noise Nancy was making, but no such luck. It's almost gone, that laceration. I don't know why the laceration lasted so long. I wonder if it's just the type of wound. Maybe without a needle, I can't sew it shut. Maybe I need to sew it. But if I can get into here, I would love to see if I can maybe find a room for the night. Uh-oh. Did the game just crash? Ooh, I think the game just crashed. Nope. Nope. No, I think the game just spawned everything in that building as I opened it, which I know is a way they do things. Oh my god, all of a sudden everything's different. Ooh, 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 the frame rate just tanked. Oh god. No, no, no. It's a gym. Gym turned first aid. Okay, get me the hell out of here. Oh my god. I can't see jack shit, but it did not feel safe. Definitely did not feel at all safe. Just gonna hopefully get him on the ground. We'll kill one of them. I can hear radio. Why am I... Oh, I'm excessively exerted. Got it. Uh-oh. I think we just gotta go back this way. We're so tired. Our goal now is just to find safety. A place to lay down and try and take a load off, at least temporarily. I'm gonna try and get in one of these cars. Try and sleep here. How? How? How do I sleep in the friggin' car? Oh, right. The way I do it is hit V. And hit sleep. And hope for the best. And not die in this vehicle surrounded by potential zombies everywhere. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! We are in a nervous wreck, but we don't see anything. It could be... It could be because we're surrounded. Our neck is in pain because we're slept in a weird in a weird position. Are we still lacerated? No. I think we survived. I actually think we survived. Here, I want to pop these cans down. Get rid of these dirty rags. Throw the bandage in our backpack. Get out of the car. And Get out. Surrounded by fog and thanking whoever she has to thank for still being alive. Nancy Gonzalez, though hurt and in slight discomfort from forcing herself to sleep in a stranger's car in an upright position, can start her day now looking for that safety. We're alive. That's all she could ask for. I think we just gotta get the hell out of here.